Well, thank you so much for staying with us. Let's take a swing now to the golf course. Jamaica will be chasing a fourth consecutive title when they compete at the Caribbean Golf Association's Four Ball Championship in the Bahamas from October 16 to 20. The Jamaicans were dominant at last year's edition in Florida, winning all six trophies at the three-day championship, including the coveted Ambrose Gothrow Cup, won by the best performing country at the tournament. 18 players will leave Jamaica Shores to compete at this year's tournament. And joining us via Zoom to tell us more is national women's champion Jody Monbarrow, who is also president of the Jamaica Golf Association. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. Not a problem. So, Jody, I will start by asking you how are your preparations coming along for this competition? Um, they've been good. We've been under the tutelage of our national coach, Jonathan Newnham, who is based at Sandals um, in Oterius. So every weekend, the team has been traveling out of town to play some of the more challenging golf courses. So it's been good. Um, it's a little bit harder because some of the team players, the national team players, actually reside overseas. And so, you know, that's a little bit difficult with, you know, one partner being in Jamaica, one partner being away. But... Uh, we'll be there a couple of days earlier than the actual event, so I think they'll get their skills all together. Right, and it, the competition is in Bahamas, the Royal Blue Golf Course. Have you ever played yes. there? And can you tell us a bit about that course in particular? I have played there. One of our, two of our team players have. Um, they played in the Bahamas Golf Association National Open last year. It's a challenging course. Of course, so the Bahamas, it's windy, uh, lots of water. Um, it's a newer course, so um, it's, prop it's designed a little bit more like an American course. So lots of hazards, lots of water. The greens are very large, I'm told. So you have to make sure that your approach shots are, um, you know, in the right quadrant of where the pin is on the green itself. Um, so, you know, I think the, the extra day practice, I think, will do us well so that we can get used to the conditions and to the golf course itself. Yeah, and Jody, let me, before I continue, just uh, belatedly mm -hmm. congratulate you for being the first ever woman to be president of the Jamaica Golf Association. I know you're probably two or three years now in your reign, mm -hmm. but I don't think Sportsmax has actually delivered the congratulations to you, so I'm, I'm doing that now. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Thank you. Okay, first of all, the quality of opposition that you, you will face in this tournament, um, how prepared are you for that and how much do you know about your position go going in? Well, we have, um, I think we have more competition this year. We have uh, teams, you know, from Trinidad and Barbados. They didn't compete in the last two years. And so there is more competition this year than the previous, um, I think, two years that, that we've, we've been there. We know some of the players um, on, on the sides. We have like our team, we do have some former, uh, what you call Herman Cup players. So that means they played, you know, other Caribbean regional events. We do have some who have won their national opens as well. So it is going to be challenging. It's going to be difficult. Um, but, you know, as with golf, you're not playing the person, you're playing the course. If you can beat the course, you usually end up beating a competition. So we're really trying to focus on our preparation when it comes to you know, how to attack the course, and I think that would help us overall. Yeah, I see the tournament talking about a four-ball championship. Can you talk to us about that format-wise? Right, it's it's a team of two, um, but, but of course it's four people that play in the in the tea time. So that's why they call it a four-ball, because there are four people playing at the same time. But each each team is two players. It's the best score of the two that comes on each hole. And then, of course, that's summed up at the end for the overall Rosa Ros, uh, score. All right. I, I want to get a comment from you on this, Jody, because um, I started my, my work in, in the media back in the mid-1980s. And uh, it, it appears to me that there are a lot more people playing golf now and a lot more young people playing golf now than 40 years ago. Am, am I right? Um, I think we've had highs and lows. When I was a junior growing up, uh, coming up through the 90s, we actually had, I thought, more golfers. Yes. We didn't have as much junior golfers. 
what we've had, you know, I think we've had more junior golfers within the last uh, probable decade, which is good. We have seen a little uh, dip this year. Quite a few of our juniors are away and we have been able to get new juniors in the program to continue the development. So we're trying to work on that from an association point of view. Um, what, what I've found, I have to say, is that the trend is probably that there are more older golfers um, than before. So we have to try to be out there and see if we can drive more interest into golf and, and try to get more youngsters into the game as well. Mm. So what would you, what would account for the upsurge in the juniors that you, you referenced just now? Well, the, the thing is that golf has, I mean, the opportunities in golf with respect to university scholarships is huge. You know, golf is growing worldwide. So it's not just universities in the States, it's universities worldwide. So, um, you know, Jamaicans have always been known to do very well academically. So when you can combine that and, and then get the opportunity to have a golf scholarship at a top school, it's it's been very attractive to a lot of, of juniors coming up. I think also, as, as we have said globally, that Tiger Woods phenomenon, you know, where a lot of these juniors have come up and, and seen Tiger and what he has done to the game. And now his son, you know, his son is now a role model as well for a lot of the youngsters uh, to show what they can do. So I think that has also helped to, to, to push the game and to, to attract more of the youngsters as well. Yeah, so the competition begins in the Bahamas October 15. When does the team leave, the Jamaican team? We have some leaving um, as soon as tomorrow. I actually leave tomorrow. Um, but, but I think the majority of the team will be in the Bahamas by Friday. Um, they're trying to do an extra practice round over the weekend, either on Saturday or, or Sunday or both days. The official practice round is Monday. And then the serious work starts on Tuesday. So um, I think, as I said before, those two extra practice rounds will definitely be key for us. All right, Jody. Well, I want to wish you best of luck. We look forward to see if Jamaica can defend that title. You all seem to have the best golfers around. <laughs> thank you so very much and thanks for having me again. Not a problem. So, of course, Jody Munbaro there. She is the president of the Jamaica Golf Association and they're getting ready to defend that title at the Caribbean Golf Championship. On that note, let's pay some bills and we'll be back.